And Heavenly Father, we gather here today remembering the men and women who answered the call to service. We grieve, we mourn, we remember, but we thank you that we are a veteran family and that we have each other to grieve with and to support. We thank you especially for the families that are joining us today by the way of the video conference. They ask that you help them feel our love and our care and our support. And we pray that you be with us today and always, that we may honor and that we may give honor to those fallen heroes, and that we may leave here better than when we walked in. Grant us the peace that surpasses all understanding, is my prayer today in your holy name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply honored to speak to you today. I want to welcome you to this last roll call of remembrance ceremony. Usually we would have this sacred service in person. However, because of the pandemic, we haven't been able to conduct this valuable service. We acknowledge those veterans who passed from the period January 1st, 2021 to October 31st, 2021. I offer my condolences to you, sincere respect and appreciation for those we have lost during this time. May their spirit of freedom never be forgotten. Thankfully, our nation has always been blessed to have strong women and men with exceptional courage who have answered the clearing call to defend our nation time and time again, in every front and in every battle. From our war for independence to World War I to Pearl Harbor and World War II, to Korea and Vietnam, to 9-11, Afghanistan, to Iraq, and every war in between. America's brave sons and daughters have willingly come forward to stand in the gap. Attending the service is an essential step in your healing process. You may be experiencing conflicting emotions. If you desire, a chaplain is available to journey with you throughout the grieving process. I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the outstanding Bay Pines VA Health System staff who have provided support and care to our veterans and families during this difficult time. Your professionalism is remarkable. We are especially delighted you are here today. May God bless those laid to rest, past and present, and I thank you. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets reckless the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wait for the land of the free and the home
At this time, we will have a special flag presentation by the United States Air Force Honor Guard. On behalf of the President of the United States of America, the Director and CEO of the Bay Pines VA Healthcare System, and a grateful nation, we honor our veterans. Some gave their best while others gave their all when called upon to serve and protect our country. As we recognize our veterans, we acknowledge their family service as well. So we thank you for your faithful service.
We Remember Them, adapted from a poem by Rabbis Sylvan Kamens and Rabbi Jack Reimer. When we see our flag unfurled, we remember them. When we hear a bugle call, we remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we face problems and difficult decisions, we remember them. When we have celebrations and joy to share, we remember them. In the rustling of leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. In the blowing of wind and in the chill of winter, we remember them. In the opening of buds, and in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. At the blueness of skies and the warmth of summer, we remember them. As long as we live, they too will live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. They are our loved ones. Thank you. One last time. A thankful nation calls your name. You always answered with pride, honor, and courage, never seeking fame. But today, only silence greets our call. A nation wonders, where have you gone? Where are you all? So young and strong you were, seeking to serve, putting it all on the line, as so few do. But why you? Was it for your nation, for your father or your mother? for your sister or your brother, maybe for your friends, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, for your husband or your wife, for your child or children, or perhaps just for you. The reason rests true with you, your selfless service and sacrifice, whether brief or long-lived, it mattered. It mattered to your nation, to your father and mother, your sister or brother or significant other, to your friends, your child or children. For whatever reason, it mattered to you. All we know is that you answered the call over and over without doubt. You stood tall. Your silence is deafening now. We mourn your passing. We can feel your absence. But knowing what you did, that selfless service to protect your loved ones and strangers alike, helps heal the void we feel. Your nation gratefully thanks you, and we are surely in your debt, impossible to forget. We will always remember and hearken you back, never forgotten. Once again, calling out your name, one last time, from the roll, the last roll call. And now we will conduct our rite of remembering. We acknowledge and honor those veterans who served in the United States Army, United States Army Reserve, and Guard Components.
those who served in the United States Marines and United States Marine Reserves component. Those who served in the United States Navy and United States Navy Reserve and component. Those who served in the United States Air Force, United States Air Force Reserve and Guard components. Those who served in the United States Space Force. Those who served in the United States Coast Guard and Reserve component. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but I am found, was blind, but now I see was grace that taught my heart to be and grace my fears really how precious did that grace appear the hour I Ladies and gentlemen, Director Russo, distinguished guests, veterans, and the families and loved ones of those we gather to remember today. My name is Larry Black, and I'm one of the chaplains here at the Bay Pines VA Medical Center. And it is a privilege to be here before you, an honor to share some words of peace and comfort. And I thank everyone for tuning in to show your support for those who have answered the call. Your presence here today is a tribute to each of them and to the family and friends of those we remember. I want you to know that I'm sorry for your loss and deeply honored to speak to you at such a special and sacred time of commemoration. In the Old Testament book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 30, the stories told that God was looking for a person who would stand in the gap to defend a new nation, someone who would represent the honor 
and dignity of the people. But he found no one. Thankfully, our nation has always had strong men and women with exceptional courage, people willing to and able to stand in the gap and defend America whenever Lady Liberty is threatened. When faced with certain dangers, our young men and women in uniform didn't look for the exit sign. They looked for the service interest and marched boldly through it. They answered the clarion call to defend our nation time and time again on every front and in every battle. America's brave sons and daughters have willingly come forward to stand in the gap. So we gather here today to remember, to acknowledge their commitment and devotion that our fallen comrades have rendered. Though their names may have faded from institutional memory, we must never forget the soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, Coast Guardmen, and civilians who gave their lives to secure our freedoms and defend our great nation. The heroes being honored today stood in the gap and answered the nation's call that they were America's sword and shield, its century and avenger, defending Lady Liberty with their very lives. Two of my five uncles fought for freedom. One during the Korean War and one during Vietnam. And I, I grew up hearing their inspiring stories of heroism and sacrifice from the moment I could form a memory. Both of them are gone now, but I can still hear their war stories and foxhole tales tugging at my heartstrings. I still feel the pain and sadness of having to say farewell to those two family heroes. You see, the loss of a loved one is probably the most challenging time in life. Grief is never comfortable for any of us. And I felt empty, stunned, dazed and sometimes relieved, followed immediately by sadness. But despite my grief, I was proud to follow in their footsteps and the millions of other warriors who sacrificed to construct the greatest nation in history of humanity, the United States of America. So today, at this last roll call, I express my deepest sympathy and special appreciation for our fallen men and women who took up the arms, who answered the nation's call with extraordinary service. Each had their own unique story. Each was someone's son, daughter, sister, brother, husband, wife, or friend. Each was willing to give their last full measure of devotion, and each one is remembered by us today. So it is only fitting that we remember and honor those brave men and women who sacrificed to preserve this great nation and maintain our freedom. It's also proper that we recognize the veterans' families, for we know when the veteran serves, the family serves as well. So we thank each family for the sacrifices they made. And we say to those families and those friends who have gathered here representing our fallen heroes who may be grieving and looking for answers, I declare on God's word, we will get through this. We may be brokenhearted, almost inconsolable, but we will get through this. We may feel pain prolonged and deeply, but we will get through this. 
We may be hurting, dismayed, and struggling, but we will get through this. Get through our tears, our sorrows, and our brokenness. And we will be able to say, maybe not today, but we will be able to say like Job, the Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, we will get through this. And the Bay Pines VA community is answering the call to stand with you families, stand in the gap to sustain and build you up. We are contracting with you to walk beside you as you grieve the loss of your loved one. As you face the shock, confusion, anger, guilt, respect, or depression, we come alongside you to comfort and console you through individual and group grief counseling as well as spiritual counseling. We agree to help you work through any unresolved feelings safely and healthily because the feelings you bury will not go away. So if there are tears that need to be shed, let them flow. If there is anger that needs to be vented, vent it properly. Do it through exercise, punching a pillow, or even complaining to God. He can handle it. If you belong to a faith community, get in touch with someone and grieve together. And although these intense emotions accompany it, grief is not a feeling. It is a slow process toward acceptance and peace, leading to rebirth and transformation. So today, take those small steps, but keep moving forward. Ask for help if you need it. Open yourselves up to new activities, new challenges, and new and renewed relationships. Integrate your loss into your new life so that all that you've learned enriches and empowers you. Continue to honor your loved one's memory by living fully, consciously, and intently. You see, the greatest gift you can give those who have gone before you is a life well lived in which you honor their memories and pass on to others that what you've received. The death of your loved one did not end your relationship together. Neither will it in the future. By incorporating all that you experience together, you can be a better person because of your relationship, because the life that you're living will be an enduring tribute to the one you love. General Mark Hurtling wrote these words. We honor their sacrifice by making a commitment to serve our nation and each other. We have an obligation to honor their memories by the way we lead our lives, the way we speak, the way we act, and the way we carry on each day. And I conclude my remarks by saying once again to the families and loved ones who are gathered here today that we remember. As Liberty's manual for freedom has been fought for and passed down in an unbroken chain for centuries, the Bay Pine VA community is poised to stand in the gap to help repair the breach of any emotional, spiritual, and mental walls that may exist for each family gathered here today, we are here to stand to watch, to refurbish the damage 
done by the demons of depression, despair, and death to restore the years the locusts have eaten to help you be thankful for the time you had and the memories you carry. And I challenge each of you today to look into your minds, your hearts, your souls, and find your loved ones there and bring them out to rejoice alongside you, celebrate their love, cheer for the ways they made you feel special and important, echo their tenacity and adventurous spirit in a way that you live your life, love every moment of life and share that love with those that mean the most to you. You can do this. You can effect change in this world just as they did. Make this world a better place because you were here. Be brave, loyal, and caring just as they were. Radiate happiness in every way you can. Share your joy with others so that it may spread. So I close with a blessing. May God bless those gathered here this afternoon. May God bless our soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen, past and present, who stood watch and answered that clarion call to duty. May God bless the Bay Pines VA Medical Center staff and workers, and may God bless the United States of America, which has always been and forever shall be the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you very much. Please bow your heads for um, the benediction. May the grace, peace, love, and strength of God continue to comfort and uphold you in your grieving and mourning journey. May his comfort overflow in all areas of your life in the days, months, and years to come as you reflect on the memories of your loved ones. May you rest in the consolation of the blessed hope of his resurrection, knowing that in the midst of sorrow, sadness, hurt, pain, and loss, there is hope. This we ask in his holy and precious name. Amen. This concludes our service, and thank you. <laughs>